When someone leaves your business, there is an eight step process that everyone should follow in Microsoft 365. And that is what today's video is all about. But before we start, I'm Jonathan Edwards, helping businesses all over the world get the very best from their Microsoft 365 and their cybersecurity. Check out 365gearsystem.com. When someone leaves your business, you need to achieve three things. Firstly, you don't want them to have access to your Microsoft 365 after they've left. Secondly, you might want to share the contents of their mailbox with other users. And thirdly, you don't want to be paying Microsoft 365 licensing charges for people who have left the business. Now, as an IT support company, we follow an eight step process every time someone leaves one of our customers. And in today's video, I'm going to go through that very eight step process with you. So without further ado, let's hop onto the screen behind me and I'll show you it. So the first thing you need to do is log into the Microsoft 365 admin portal. Now you can see I'm logged into Microsoft 365 here and I've got access to the admin portal. So I'll click on there. And once the admin center launches, I will go to users and I'll go to active users. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the user that I want to take through the lever process. So click on him here and we'll get this little box here. So I do three things in this little part now. Firstly, I'm gonna reset the user's password. So it's a random password to what the user might know. Once that's been done, I will sign this user out of all sessions. So if they're logged onto Outlook on their laptops, their phones, or over the web, this should sign them out of all the sessions after a little bit of time, okay? And finally, I'm gonna click on block signing, okay? So I click on here and I click save changes. And then I'm gonna get a little message saying that this will should be initiated within 60 minutes. It's usually much quicker than that. So that user now has a new password that they don't know. They've been signed out of all sessions and they've also been blocked from signing in. So what is next? So the next step is now to turn this mailbox into something called a shared mailbox. So I'll go back to here. And then we'll click on the mail icon here. And we should have an option here, convert to shared mailbox. So that's what we're gonna do. Click on here, and we're gonna click on convert. Now that might take a few minutes to convert to a shared mailbox. You might be thinking, what's a shared mailbox? Well, a shared mailbox is a mailbox that other people can have access to, but crucially, you don't need to pay for a Microsoft 365 license. So now we know this has been converted to a shared mailbox, we can simply go to licenses and apps and remove the licenses that this user has. So we're not paying for anything else. Once we've removed all the licenses, we'll click on save changes. At this point, we now administer this shared mailbox from a different location. So I'm gonna close that. We'll go to show all, so it shows all the admin centers. And we now want to open the exchange admin center. And then we're gonna go onto mailboxes here. So what you can see is all the mailboxes, but you've got a, a column here called recipient type. So what we can do is we can scroll down and we can see that our user here is now a shared mailbox. So I open up here and I've got lots more different options. So the first thing you need to ask is, does anyone need access to this user's mailbox? Or does anyone need access to the emails that are gonna come into this mailbox? Now there's a couple of ways you can achieve this. The first one is called delegation. What we can do is set this user's mailbox to appear in the outlook of someone else. So say if someone called Bill is managing Tim's mailbox from here on in. What we would do is go on to read and manage full access. We click on edit and we click on add members. We then choose Bill from this list. Once we do that, after a few minutes, Tim's mailbox will appear in Bill's Outlook below Bill's mailbox, and he'll be able to look at the mailbox, all previous mails, and he'll be able to fully manage that mailbox. The second way to do it is you could put a forward on. So you could click on mailbox, you could put on manage email forwarding, and you could switch mail forwarding on, and what you can do then is type someone's email address in. This will ensure that all future emails are forwarded to a different address. 
However, the person who it's forwarded to won't be able to see any previous emails or the full mailbox. So it's up to you how you want to do that. And then another tip that I have is to put an out of office on. This is really handy. It lets people know that this user has left the business. So we can click on others and we can manage automatic replies. So all we have to simply do is switch this on and we can put a message in here. Something like this, please contact and then email address, someone's email address. Okay, put that in there, inside the organization, outside the organization and save. And then over time, people will get used to the fact that this person has left the business and they need to contact someone else. Now the final step you might want to do is wipe people's devices. So what do I mean by that? Well, it really depends how that user has left the business, what device they are using. Let me just show you an example of a couple of things. I'll come off Tim here and I'll go to my own account here. You can see I've got a tab called devices and on there there's my devices that have been enrolled in Intune and if I click on the drop down you can see I've got a couple of options I can remove company data from that device or I can factory reset that device so you might want to do that extra step and finally what if this user has email on their smartphone well again we can do something about that as well we can go into exchange look at mailboxes and again just for an example I'll look at my own once that's launched, we can click on Manage Mobile Devices and you can see I've got access to Outlook on various iPads, various iPhones, etc. So what I would simply do is I would select one of these and as soon as I select one, I get these options here. So again, we can wipe company data, we can block access. So they're the steps that I take when someone leaves an organization. What I also do every few months or so, you might want to come into mailboxes and look at all your shared mailboxes and think, well, do we still need these as live email accounts? And if you don't, you can simply delete them and get rid of them. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope that you adopt the eight step process in your business today.